Welcome to the Novatime University video training series. This video will demonstrate the general navigation of the system and enhanced supervisor dashboard. Enter your user ID and password. This is assigned by your Novatime administrator. Depending on your organization, you may have different entry points into the database. The typical landing page for supervisors is the dashboard, which displays information that a supervisor needs to know and provides shortcuts to common tasks. If you are not currently using the dashboard, the system will take you to your typical landing page. Contact your Novatime reseller or software support to enable the dashboard. Let's take a look at how the system is organized. In the upper left-hand corner, you will see the hamburger icon that controls the general system navigation of categories and pages associated with each category. Your license key name and client ID appears after the last category. To hide the navigation, click on the hamburger menu icon again. The home icon takes you to the dashboard. The store icon allows you to store all of your favorite most frequent used pages. To designate a page as a favorite, select the page and click on the icon on the tab next to the page name. A yellow star will appear to indicate this as a favorite page. You can rearrange the order of favorite pages by clicking on the star slash favorite icon and selecting the edit option. If you're a supervisor slash administrator and also an employee in a Novatime system with a single sign-on toggling feature enabled, you will be able to toggle to the MySelf EWS portal by clicking on the person icon. Now, take a look at settings. Settings allows you to configure the dashboard gadgets available for you. The lock sign menu option retains the menu bar after clicking on the hamburger menu icon, even when you navigate to another page. If the Auto Launch Dashboard feature is off, it will take you to your normal landing page. The Auto Refresh settings tells the system to automatically update the dashboard at pre-configured intervals. You can determine the refresh interval rate. Click on the Assist panel to configure which gadgets you want displayed on your Assist panel. Click on the View drop-down menu to configure the breakdown of the Assist panel. Click on checkboxes to enable the gadgets you want to display on your dashboard. The available list of gadgets is configured by your Novatime administrator. The message icon will list all of your messages sent to the supervisor. To open up the online help pages, click on the question mark icon. Online help opens in the new browser window, so pop-ups must be enabled. Now, let's take a look at the new assist panel. The assist panel displays information that a supervisor needs to know and provides shortcuts to common tasks. If a supervisor manages employees in the multi-pay cycle with data, data in the assist panel will automatically refresh every five minutes from one pay cycle to the next. Each circle indicates a pay cycle. A circle turns red two days before the pay cycle end date and three days after the pay cycle end date. The play button starts the pay cycle rotation for displaying the data inside the assist panel and the pause button stops the pay cycle rotation. The pay period drop-down allows you to navigate to the last and next period. You can also use arrows to navigate to different pay periods. The refresh icon refreshes the entire dashboard with the data. The filters allows you to filter employees shown on the dashboard. This button will collapse or open the assist panel. Clicking on the exceptions button will take you straight to the timesheet page. Clicking on any specific exception will take you to the timesheet page, filtering for the selected exception. The PTO status button takes you to the scheduler request page. This is available only if an organization uses the PTO request feature. The timesheet status button takes you to the attendance summary page. The double down arrow will open or close the assist panel detail view. The detail view lists all the days within the pay cycle. The detail view shows schedule versus actual hours and all applicable exceptions. Click on the daily schedule icon and all available work schedules from the employee reporting to the supervisor for this day will be displayed.
majority of the gadgets that you have access to will still be available on the dashboard. Some are already incorporated in the assist panel, such as approved status and schedule versus actual. Some gadgets are consolidated in a new and outboard page. There are other minor features available on the dashboard, such as clicking inside the gadget name to rename it. Like the EWS gadget, clicking on the right arrow will take you to the associated page. If you have access to message gadget, you can send private messages to your employees. Some gadgets support graphical presentation. Click on the graph icon to show the information displayed graphically. Click on the minimize button to minimize a gadget. Public messages normally appear on the login. This is a great communication tool if your organization uses single sign-on from another system. Thank you for watching this video.